Yeah, um, I was just telling Carter about this. He's uh, studying engineering at the University of Alaska. Sometime in the late 70s, uh, and a friend of mine had told me about it. They, uh, and you can even see that one there is uh, when the pop tops don't come off. I mean, so these are later ones then. Yeah, those would have been late 70s. Could have even been in the 80s when this one was made. I'm not exactly sure when they quit it, but the uh, bunch of the engineering students got together and decided to design a machine for crushing pop cans together into a block because there wasn't really any market for pop cans here in town. And they figured that'd be good for drinking money. And then uh, as time went on, they decided that they should donate it to charity, be more official with what they were doing. And I guess they just lost interest in it. By the time I was going there the second time, might have been going on when I was there the first time. I honestly don't know. It might have still been dragging on and me just not knowing about it. But second time I went there in the 90s, uh, it was not a program at all. Uh, a friend of mine had bought this sometime in the early 80s, late 70s. He passed away. I ended up with it from his place. And he told me that it was one of those blocks from the university. Because... Uh, they'd either sell them for whatever the scrap price was or 20 bucks a piece. And he thought for 20 bucks it was just kind of a neat yard ornament. And now it's our yard ornament, uh, courtesy of the engineering department. And I think it was more the mine engineering department, but I'm sure the mechanicals had something to do with it too, because I don't think the mine guys would have, no offense to them, but I don't think they'd have built a crush, uh, smasher all on their own. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I, I deal with both, you know, I'm not, not against anyone. It wasn't the chemical engineers anyway, it wasn't them. <laughs> and it wasn't the electricals. But together, uh, they came in and uh, their initial thing was literally for a drinking fund. And uh, it ended up going to charity later and then, I don't know what happened to it. Probably considered unsafe, most likely, by the university. Some reason it got shut down anyway. <laughs>